Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alejandro Garbona one more time. How are you doing tonight, guys? You good? Hi, good evening. Good evening, doing excellent. How are you, sir? Uh, yeah, still surviving, but you know, good evening. I'm here. Hey, good evening. Very How good. Um, okay. Have you heard the news that we might go on quarantine again? Um, yeah, no? but I don't think it's going to be approved, so, you know. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have quarantine again. Yeah, we yeah. might get we might get quarantine quarantine again. So they are really? asking for it. Yeah, they're asking for it. The government is asking for it. Like right where um, I live, like we had the first case like yesterday. So when, when so, yeah. mm -hmm. so okay, I the, think when it's, COVID, when it's speak COVID it. COVID-19 is affecting the whole planet, isn't it? Or doesn't it? That's right. That's exactly what we're going to work today, Thomas. So um, <laughs> this topic, it's, um, it's not difficult, to be honest with you, because it's not. But you have to pay attention to the grammar part. If you are good with grammar, you are not going to have any issues. If you need to work a little bit with grammar, then you might have some issues. So this is the time where you're gonna have to learn, right? This is where if you find that you have difficulties, you gotta practice, that's it. So today there are, <clears throat> today there are no questions about previous classes. We're just gonna go straight to today's topic, okay? Okay. Give me just a second. All right, and I have a, a lot of backup material so you can work with it. So let's go ahead and read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. In this class, participants will be introduced to type questions for opinions. In this class, participants will be introduced to type questions for opinions. That's right. So let's go ahead and, and uh, work on this because like i said we need to understand how they work this is an introduction and then we're going to be working with the grammar class. we're going to work on this today and tomorrow all right very good so you know the drill that means you know what to do you know the drill let's go ahead and mute your mics and pay attention to the video please Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of TA questions for opinion. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working. I know you can't read, so you're, so you're going to have to pay attention. Yes, I, I don't. Mm -hmm. So yeah, try to work on your on your listening skills. Ooh, what did I do? Give me a second. I don't know what I did. I don't want to share this. Working full time. And childcare isn't cheap. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of TA questions for opinions. Health insurance, childcare bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too. Have any services like that at my school? Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. 
Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. All right, guys. So, what was the audio about? Who can tell me? Uh, what the girl is discussing about working part time doesn't give us enough money, or does it? Uh, and basically, she complains that she doesn't make enough money for her kids. And the boy or the man, he is okay. He's nice. sure about his education. Nice he's about sure? the nice about the girl. Now, good job, Thomas. I need somebody else to tell me about the um the the, the boy. Can anybody tell me something about the boy? He's um he's about to finish the law school. Okay. Now he regrets his he doesn't want to be a lawyer. Uh -huh. and then he wants to Instead, he wants to open a coffee shop in Mexico. In Mexico. Okay, great. So, thank you very much, Thomas and Oscar. Thank you. Thank you for that. So, let's go ahead and move on. This is just an introduction on how tap questions are used. And we're going to have the rest in a few seconds here. Just a second. So, let's go ahead and read with me as you know. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will end. learn about tag questions for opinion. By the end of this lesson, participants will learn about tag questions for opinion. Tag questions for opinion. Tag questions for opinion. Exactly. All right. So, as you know, please mute your mics. Because then we're gonna go to the video. Everybody mute it, please. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Childcare isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be as the main verb, be is also used in tag question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Hi, I'm sure you understood this topic, didn't you? 
In case you didn't, feel free to ask your teacher and watch the explanation if needed. Alrighty guys, so um, today is going to be a very uh, grammar or grammar task and tomorrow we're going to practice as much as we can. Now, um, who can tell me what you guys what you guys understand about this topic? When the statement is affirmative, the third question is negative, and uh -huh. it's the opposite. When the statement is positive, the third question is negative. All right. And some examples: shark, shark care isn't cheap, uh -huh. is it? Uh, COVID nineteen is a big disease, isn't it? Okay. Right. Uh -huh. Good. Great, Thomas. Um, anybody else who wants to add something? Yeah, me, Francis. Go ahead, Fran. Um, yeah, uh, um, when this, um, when you got, you got, a, um, you, you're gonna, when you affirm or you got, uh, um, somebody that is, um, in, uh, like, um, in, and like, is with you in, like, I don't know. Um, when somebody is agree with you, mm -hmm. what what the going does make you no know, that the um the question like is it or or didn't we make negative or or um positive like we are we are you know, like we we agree everybody everybody the um, the COVID nineteen is killing a lot of people, isn't it? That's right. So it's pretty much when, good job, friend. It's when we want to ask if somebody agrees with us. So, yeah. like, uh, for example, um, if we say in, in Spanish, <laughs> let's say that we are shopping and uh, we think it's expensive, we're going to say it's expensive, isn't it? Like in Spanish, we say, Ta caro, vea. Yeah. So we expect for someone to, to agree with us. Ah, si, está caro. Exactly. So that's pretty much when we use that question. Right? Um, or, so pretty much, lo que queremos hacer es buscar que alguien esté de acuerdo con nosotros con esa pregunta. You know? uh, probamos algo nuevo, decir, está feo, vea. Pupusas are cheap, aren't they? That's right, exactly. Pupusas are cheap, aren't they? Or let's say that we go to a restaurant and each pupusa is $1.50. 150 we say, these pupusas are expensive, aren't they? Aren't they? Exactly. So pretty much that's when we use that question. Um, any question about this? Mm -hmm. Is it clear? Not clear. Yes. No. Yeah, it's clear. clear. Uh -huh. Don't worry about it because we're going to practice. So a direct question is, is it clear? Está claro. It is. Aha. Uh -huh. So if you want to say that in a tag question, we're going to say it is clear. En vez de la pregunta, ocupamos un statement, ya sea afirmativo o negativo. It is clear. Isn't it? Isn't it? Uh -huh. So uh, it isn't clear. Si le damos vuelta, it isn't clear. Is it? Is it? Ahí queremos is confirmar que si está claro, pensamos que no está claro. All right, uh, so guys, before I continue, if you see me like I'm falling asleep, it's because I'm not, I'm not sleepy. I'm just super sick. I have sinusitis and it's been killing me since yesterday. So, um, COVID. Nah, hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> cross, cross. <laughs> right. cross, yeah. cross. <laughs> so, <laughs> the toads cross. So if you see me like this, it's not, not, that I'm falling asleep is that sometimes it really hurts, right? Yeah, but I I'm bet. here, dando the control. So let's Good. go ahead and work a little bit about this because I have something here. All right. I'm gonna start creating questions, and I wanted to practice this website, Perfect English Grammar. It's actually very good. I recommend it a lot, but I recommend it a lot. If you don't really understand about grammar, it might be a little bit confusing, but you don't lose anything by checking it. There are others that you can just simply, this one, I didn't like it. Never mind, forget about it. 
you are going to share it on the WhatsApp group, aren't you? There you go, boy. That's exactly what I was looking for. Yes, mm -hmm. I will share it with you. So go ahead and read with me, please. Everybody, tag questions. Tag questions. Tag questions. Mm -hmm. Tag questions or question tags. Tag questions. Question tag. Tag question or question tag question tags. or te question tags. Turn a statement into a question. Turn a Turn statement, statement into a question. Into a question. question. Um, they are often used for checking information that we think we know it's true. They are they often are used, used for checking used information, information that we think that we know is true. So it's no, true. It's true. Can we All right, sorry about that. Exactly, that we know is true. So, when do we use that questions? Uh, through for checking information. Statement to the questions. Uh -huh. to statement to the question. Yes, there you go. Well, that was supposed to be an arrow, but it didn't work. <laughs> All right, so we use it to turn the statement into a question, and uh, we use it for? They are often checking for information that we think we know is true. They are often used for checking information that we think we know is true. Aha, that we think we know is true. Que pensamos que sabemos es verdadera. All right, so let's continue reading with me, please. Tag questions are made using an auxiliary verb. For example, be or have. For example, be or have. Be or have. In a subject pronoun. In a subject pronoun. For example, I use. 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 Exactly. Negative question tags are usually contracted. Negative question tags are usually contracted. It's warm today, isn't it? It's warm today, isn't it? Isn't it? You go up and pick. Isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? And we do not use, for example, it's warm today. Is it not? That is not commonly used. So the tag. It's not, it's, it's not. Um, I don't have anything. Oh. Okay. I don't know if you see this. Do you see it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. This, is a, this, is, this is a price tag. Uh. Oh, this is a tag. Yeah. Also, this I have right here. What it has here is a tag. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like a little etiqueta. Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. Right. So let's go ahead and continue here. Do we use contractions in the tag? Yes. Yes, we no. do. Yes, we do. Do we use the full negative form? No, no we do. No. Yeah. no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. Exactly. Let's continue no, reading no, no. this. Usually, if the main clause is positive, usually, usually if, if the, the main, main clause is positive, positive, clause is positive. positive. the question tag is negative. The, the question, question tag, tag is negative. Is negative. Mm -hmm. And if the main clause is negative, and if the main clause is negative, it's positive. The question positive. tag positive. is positive. positive. The, positive. the question tag is positive. Is positive. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, I always like to use affirmative instead of positive because I can tell you, I hate everybody that is affirmative but is not positive, right? So I like to say affirmative. So, for example, it's cold, isn't it? It's cold, cold. isn't it? Cold. Is it's it? Not, it's not. So, it's cold is affirmative, isn't it is negative. So we have to create a balance. Negative, positive, positive, positive negative. negative. All right. We are almost done with this. Then we go with the exercises. If the main clause has an auxiliary verb in it, the main clause has the main an auxiliary clause verb, verb, an auxiliary verb, verb in it. Auxiliary verb. Verb. The main clause has an auxiliary verb in it. You use the same verb in the tag question. 
Same verb. If there's no auxiliary verb, there is no auxiliary verb. Auxiliary verb. In the present simple or past simple. In the present simple or past simple. You do, does, did. You do, does, did. Just like when you make a normal question. Just like when you make a normal question. Good. Now let's go ahead and go with the last one here. There's one weird exception. There's one weird exception. There is one weird exception. There is no auxiliary. Exception. Exception. The question tag after I am is aren't I? The question tag after I am is aren't I? Mm -hmm. I'm in charge of the food, aren't I? For example, I'm, I'm in charge of the food, aren't I? 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 Aren't entonces no digan aren't I, no lo suelten. Aren't I, aren't I, aren't I, aren't I, aren't I, aren't I, aren't I. If you notice, the T is not really pronounced. Aren't I, that's the way it is. Remember that in English there are a lot of contractions and links. Aren't I, aren't I. All right, so right. go ahead and pay attention to these guys because you're gonna do exactly the same thing today, okay? Um, here, pretty much we can use all of the all of the tenses. Present simple will will would be. She's Italian, isn't she? She's Italian, isn't she? Italian, isn't she? She's Italian, isn't she? Okay. Now, pay attention that the intonation goes up. It's rising in intonation because it's like a yes, no question. Okay? All right. So, when we say she is Italian, we are going to use the verb to be here. It's contrato. Yes. So, for example, they are <laughs> they are Italian. What is the question tag? Aren't they? Aren't they? They are. Aren't they? Exactly. Aren't they? So, prácticamente, guys, aquí va en español para que todos entendamos. Con el verb to be, si aquí ocupamos is, aquí va is, pero en negativo. Si aquí fuera are, independientemente del pronombre. Eso no nos importa. Aren't they? Si aquí fuera are, aquí ponemos aren't, aren't, aren't. y copiamos el mismo pronombre, lo tiramos aren't. para acá. Aren't. O sea, si aquí right. es she, aquí es she. Si aquí fuera he, aquí fuera he. 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 Exacto. So, pongan atención a esto, que esto lo hacemos negativo o afirmativo, dependiendo del anterior, y ocupamos el mismo sujeto. So, um, this one, present simple, other verbs. They live in London, don't they? They live in, they live in, live in London, London. Live in don't, they? don't they? Don't they? ¿Por qué no ocupamos live? Is a... uh -huh. Well, we have to create a... Is this a verb? Because it's yeah, a verb, verb. that's right. Fact, right. Yeah, verb. The trick here yeah. is for you to use the auxiliary verb or the modal verb that belongs to the tense that you are using. Use the pronouns. En español, el truco aquí es usar el auxiliar, y ya lo vamos a ver en un patrón, el auxiliar o modal verb, si es, estamos ocupando modal verbs, que estamos ocupando. So, ¿cuál es el auxiliar de presente simple? Do. 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 Yeah. O, does. Aquí también 
Sí, no importa. Si fuera he, aquí ponemos doesn't. Sí. Right? Right. Entonces, no ocupamos el verbo, sino que ocupamos el auxiliar. ¿Por qué ocupamos este aquí? Porque no hay de otra. Right? No hay de otra. Por eso ocupamos en el simple present con be, ocupamos el mismo verbo porque no tenemos auxiliar. Eso no tiene auxiliar. Pero con los demás sí vamos a ocupar el auxiliar. So, how do you say, él vive en London, vea? Yes. Sí. How do you say that in English? Él vive en London. He lives in London, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? That's right. Entonces lo ponemos. He lives in London. He lives in London. Coma. Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Good. Now, I have a couple of questions. ¿Por qué ocupamos doesn't? Is it third person? Third person. Because it is third person, right? Third person singular. Third person singular. So we are using the auxiliary for third person singular. Why is it in negative? Because the because question the is, is positive. The, uh -huh, the question is positive. The sentence. The sentence, the sentence mm -hmm. in positive. Affirmative. Mm -hmm. Affirmative. Uh -huh. exactly. Affirmative. So here we have affirmative. Here we have negative. Exactly. Yeah. Ok, si aquí tenemos afirmativo en cualquiera de las tenses, aquí va negativo. Y si fuera All al right. revés, le pusiéramos... Change. Aquí. All right. All right, very good. So, let's go ahead and continue with the next one. Mm -hmm. We are working tomorrow, aren't we? Aren't we? We are working, working tomorrow. tomorrow. Aren't we? We are working tomorrow, aren't we? We are working right. tomorrow, so, aren't we? Tenemos we, contestamos con... We. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar acá? Are. 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 Entonces ocupamos yes, el auxiliar acá. Good. So, let's go ahead and speed it up. Past simple would, would be. It was called yesterday, wasn't it? It was called yesterday, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? The past verb. Mm -hmm. Now, auxiliar. This was... <laughs> Good. This one is not auxiliary, auxiliary because we are using again the past of B. Yeah. El B como verbo no tiene auxiliar. Por eso ocupamos otra vez oh, el, una sola. el um, sorry. The past simple of B. Mm -hmm. Exactly. We use the verb porque no hay de verbo. Exactly. Good. Let's go ahead and continue because you will do the exact same thing. Past simple with other verbs. He went to the party last night, didn't he? He went to the party last night. Didn't he? 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 Didn't Okay, good. So, siempre vamos, aquí en aren't we, no se puede linkear. Don't they, tampoco. Aquí sí. Ah, no, aquí tampoco. Is it she? Pero aquí sí. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? I have a question. Why are we using didn't? Because when is in the past, is the past or the verb go? Yeah, the, the past the past verb to be. To be. So we use the auxiliary verb. We use exactly. the verb in past. Uh, is the, the auxiliary period. verb in past. Correct. Again, auxiliary. Uh -huh. Next one. We were waiting at the at the station, weren't we? We were waiting. We were waiting at the station, weren't we? Weren't we? Weren't we? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, possible. again, we and we, we use the same pronoun. Where is the auxiliary? In past. In past. So, that's why we use it here. This is the main verb and this is the auxiliary. Now, let's continue. They've been to Japan, haven't they? They've been, They've been to Japan, Japan. 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 haven't they? they? So, again, have is the auxiliary. We use it here. 
now. All right. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Let's try and let's try to do it faster. She's been studying yes. a lot recently, hasn't she? She's been she studying a lot, of, a lot of recently, hasn't she? Hasn't she? What is the auxiliary? Has been. Has. Has. Is. Has. Is. Exactly. Has. 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 Mm -hmm. Now, acuérdense que el apóstrofe es tiene varias cosas, perdón que lo den en español, pero no está relacionado con el tema, solo estoy explicando algo. Si es apóstrofe S seguido de been, es porque es have. Okay. O si va seguido de un pasado participio como este. Ahora, si estuviera seguido de un adjetivo como happy, Ahí sería, she is happy. She is happy. Uh -huh. Exacto. Okay. Y si estuviera seguido de un noun, yes. ahí sería possessive nouns. Como por ejemplo, Carlos, Carl, o Alejandro's class. All right, let's continue. We had forgotten his wallet. Ah, oh, no. He had he forgotten had. his wallet. He had, he had, had forgotten his wallet. Forgotten his wallet. Forgotten his wallet. Had 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 any? At the end, had any? Exactly. Had any? Always rising intonation. Had any? Nice. Had any? Had any? Had forgotten his wallet. Had any? We've been working. Had any? We've been working. Had any? Had any? Had any? Had any? Had any? Good. So again, the auxiliary is had. Because it is past perfect. Continuous. Si se fijan, solo ocupamos el auxiliar. El bin no lo ocupamos. She will come at six, won't she? She will come, 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 come at six, six. won't she? Come at six, won't she? Won't she? Auxiliary, will. Let's will. continue. Will. They'll be arriving mm -hmm. soon, won't they? They'll be arriving soon, won't they? Won't they? Be arriving soon. Day. Day. One day. Auxiliary. Will, will and will, will. the same. The same They problem. will arriving. So, no importa que tengan algo más como aquí el been working o aquí el be arriving. Siempre van nada más el auxiliar, la primera parte del auxiliar. They'll have finished before nine, won't they? They'll, they'll have, have finished, finished before nine, nine. Before one, nine. Day. one day. One day. They'll, they'll have nice finished. intonation. She'll okay. have been cooking all day, won't she? She'll have, have been cooking all day, all day. Yes. won't she? Won't she? Won't she? Won't she? Won't she? So, pero mire, teacher, es que tiene have, y también tiene be. been, y después, hasta después, tiene el verbo en gerundio. No importa, solo ocupamos el primero. No, no me van a poner aquí, won't have been she, porque eso ya parece chino, ¿verdad? ni siquiera existe. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and cooking. now, if we use modal verbs, he can help. Can he? Can he? he can help. Can he? 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 Masani? Masani? As you can say, as you can see, we have modal verbs and we use them in negative. Any question? So far, so good. Good. Guys, speak now. I'll be quiet so far. Yes, we need practice. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do, my friends. We are going to work on this. I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group. Necesito que me hagan lo mismo. I need you to do the exact same thing in groups. So, you're going to use present simple will be and try to use different pronouns. Okay? Um, give me a second. I'm going to open a WhatsApp web so I can send the things to you. Mm -hmm. So, guys, lo que necesito que hagan es exactamente esto, que lo repliquen, que con present simple will be, usted me creen, me creen uno de estos. Luego con present simple other verbs, va a ser exactamente lo mismo. Y luego necesito que la hagan de esta manera, afirmativo o negativo, 
y que luego a la misma oración le den vuelta. ¿Cómo le van a dar vuelta? Así. Say with me real quick, please. We aren't late, are we? We aren't we are late. late. We aren't we are we? Are late. Negative, affirmative. She doesn't have any children, does she? She doesn't. She doesn't, she doesn't have, have any children, children. Does, does she? she? The bus is incoming, is it? The bus, the bus is incoming. The bus is incoming. Is it? She wasn't at home yesterday, was she? She wasn't, she wasn't, wasn't at home yesterday. yesterday. Was, was she? she? Good. I'm going to send this image to you as well. Si la primera oración está en negativo, el tag va en afirmativo. Si la primera oración es afirmativo, el tag va en negativo para mantener el balance. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. Guys, I'm going to send this to you right now as soon as my computer loads. Go ahead and accept the invite right now. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and work together. You all must have the same example. Got it? Got it. You all must have the same example. All right. Go ahead and accept it, please. Okay. Let's join. You are going to get your diploma, aren't you? Or you'll get your diploma. You'll get, you'll get your diploma. Your, uh -huh, your diploma. How is diploma? Diploma is diploma. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Aren't you? Teacher, we need to use the image. Yes, you need to use the image as a guide. And the instructions are on WhatsApp too. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You also have an example on how to do it. And you gotta use every single example and create your own. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was <coughs> um, This one is, uh, she's Italian, isn't she? Mm -hmm, and that's right. Okay. So change it. You can use different pronouns and different adjectives. You can say she is happy. 
Um, yes, yes, you have to use other complements. La okay. idea es que cambien, que ocupen la misma base, pero que ustedes creen sus propios ejercicios. Okay, like she is Salvadorian. Ajá, uh -huh, like, but tampoco va, o sea. <laughs> yes, en vez de, okay. you can say she is Salvadorian. Va, jugamos, ocupemos eso. She is Salvadorian, isn't she? <laughs> y ellas salen de su compromiso. Y ese va, mismo okay. pasa en lo negativo. She isn't okay. Salvadorian. Is she? ¿Estamos? They live in El Salvador. ¿Dónde? Ajá, pero ese ya sería segundo. Muy bien. They live in El Salvador. ¿Dónde? they? And the same, you're going to use it. Y el mismo que crearon lo pasan a la otra estructura. Como en el ejemplo de WhatsApp. They don't live in El Salvador. Do they? Yeah. Okay, good. Continue. Let me check on the other groups. And do not use my examples. I repeat, do not use my examples. Get your own. Why? Did you Practice send makes some perfect. information? <laughs> Go. <laughs> my daughter lives in Las Vegas. Doesn't she? she? Doesn't she? Nice. Lives. Sí, yeah. Nice. Exactly. Same example. Okay. Do it in negative. Oh, oh, how would you do it in negative? The... El mismo pasa en lo negativo. Okay. My seat, my my daughter uh -huh. is it? Uh -huh. uh -huh. How do you say mi hija no vive en Las Vegas? Vea. Yeah. <laughs> My Try not to get confused because I know it might be getting confusing. So mm -hmm. my sister okay. doesn't live in Las Vegas. Does yeah. she? Does she? Uh -huh. Negativo, Does she? afirmativo, afirmativo, negativo. Continue. Let me check how the other groups are doing. Good job. Okay, teacher. Go to the park. Don't they? They don't go to the park, don't they? Yeah. Two no negatives? Dos negativos? Yeah, the, they don't go to the park. Do they? Nice. Yeah, do they? Nice. Uh -huh. Yes, negative, positive. All right. They don't go to the park, do they? And what is do the they? opposite? Uh, uh, they don't go. Yeah. The opposite. Uh, uh -huh. They go to the park. They go to the park, don't they? Ahí está. There you go. Great. Yeah. Great. That's exactly the way you should do it. Continue, guys. Let me check on the other group. I'm All right. Sure okay. Everybody's doing it correctly. Great job. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we'll Hello. be arriving soon. Won't we? Won't we? Okay. Nice. Now, mm -hmm. switch it. The same okay. sentence. But we'll, we won't we won't be arriving soon, will we? There you go. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Easy, right? Yes. Right, right. Easy peasy. There you go. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Continue. You're doing great. Let me check another group. All right. Okay. He like he like pupusas, didn't he? Okay. In past, he liked. He liked to eat pupusas. He liked to eat pupusas. He liked to eat. He liked to eat pupusas. Uh -huh. Doesn't he? Didn't he? Oh, didn't. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Nice. Use he liked to eat. Use the picture or the image I sent you so you can have a reference. Acuérdense que hay que mantener el auxiliar 
del tiempo que estamos ocupando. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. Right. You were gossiping with your neighbors. Weren't you? There you go. <laughs> okay. No, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice question. <laughs> okay. Is is that gossiping or gossiping? Yes. Okay, the what? teacher teacher doesn't hear me. How do you pronounce it? Gossiping. 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 Mm -hmm. Gossiping. Okay. And eavesdrop is like a hearing or it's a second hand, right? What do you mean? Eavesdrop. Mm, how do you spell that? Como escuchar, escuchar de alguien. Eavesdrop. Mm. I overheard. I overheard. Something like that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Overheard is like they weren't saying that to you, but you paid attention. Uh -huh. Overheard. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That one, I'm over not... here, over here, over here, and in past, uh, overheard. overheard. You can conjugate it. Hey, I am overhearing them talk. Uh -huh. okay. I'm over here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> I overheard. I, over... I overheard. Nice. You can... I don't know. I overheard uh, um, your conversation, hadn't I? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait. Hadn't I? Hadn't I? Or didn't I? Okay, I overheard. Uh, Go ahead and I? write them down. Did write I? them down because I'm going to be asking you questions about it when we come back. And you only got five minutes. Continue, guys. Okay, I overheard. English lately, have we? We have forgotten a little bit of grammar, hadn't we? We hadn't, hadn't forgotten a little, yeah, we hadn't forgotten a little bit of grammar, had we? Yes. Um, I'll be cooking tomorrow night, won't I? Guys, I have a question. I won't be cooking tomorrow night, will I? Are you writing him down? Yes. <laughs> okay, make sure you write them down because I'm going to ask you questions in four minutes. Good the night. pizza is in arriving, is it? The pizza is in arri the pizza is arriving, isn't it? And yes. the pizza is in arriving, is it? Question, do you all have it written down? I, I do. ¿Todos lo tienen escrito? I am. I am writing everything. Okay, um, so make sure you are a team. If one of you got okay. fails, the team fails. So everybody write it. Okay, down. guys. Goodbye. For example, she has a new car. Doesn't she? Because you use the auxiliary. Say it again. Doesn't. Everything, please. No. She, she, she has a, she has a new car. Has to she? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm I'm having internet connection problems right now. Say it again, please. Are you there? Has it she? She has an evening. If no, it, if uh, it is, Francisco, say it mm -hmm. Francisco said uh, she has a new car. Oh, okay. Doesn't she? Got it. Sorry, mm -hmm. I was hearing something different. Make sure you, you write them down, guys, because in a couple of minutes I'm going to be asking you, okay? All right. All right, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hey, guys, I'm working up? right now. Question, are you writing everything down? Uh, no. no. no just... we aren't. Then go ahead, because <laughs> I'm going to be asking you questions. You got two minutes. Run. Okay. Okay. Mm. Let me see.
Alrighty, guys. So we are coming back, and I'm gonna start asking for volunteers. Volunteers. Let me see. First winner. The winners are William. You go first. Why me? Why me? Okay. <laughs> Why me? Why not? <laughs> Why not? All right. Example. I'm Jenny. good. Hey, give me a second. Can I have a la carta, vea? Okay. So. <laughs> Easy, <gonna> cowboy. <laughs> um, give me an example in both. Negative, negative, affirmative, and affirmative negative of the following. Fast, simple okay. would be. As simple will be. Mm -hmm. yep. um, she was in class. Wasn't she? Uh huh. Good. Change it. Okay. She wasn't in the class. Was she? There you go. Great job, man. Um, Elizabeth, next. Present perfect. I'm calling Elizabeth. Alvarez. <laughs> Ali. Okay, Ali. Mm -hmm. oh, Pressing perfect. It was yes. What were I talking about? Mm. Come on, present really? perfect. Example. What about? What, what about it? Give me an example, please. <laughs> okay, Elisa. Elisa hasn't been sleeping, has she? Ah, uh, 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 don't help her. Let her suffer. <laughs> I mean, let her practice. <laughs> I'm sorry? Would you mind repeating it again, please? This meal is horrible, isn't it? That's great, but I wanted to use present perfect. Oh. Mm -hmm. Can we? Can okay. we show? I'm can gonna give show? you. I'm gonna give you one minute. I'm gonna ask somebody else, and then I'm gonna come back with you. So get it ready, please. Um, Tomas, give me something with past continuous. Past continuous, okay. I wasn't sleeping, was I? Switch it. Uh, I was sleeping, wasn't I? Good. Francisco, past I? simple, other verbs. Past simple. Uh, she, uh, she wasn't in the class. Does she? Mm. It's with other verbs. Ah. Uh, other verbs, not verbs was, to be. Uh, okay. And no verb, no verb to be. Okay. She plays. Um. She plays in the in the team last year. Okay. That, that she? Okay. Pausa. Regresamos. También. Okay. Past with other verbs. Um. And Nehida. Past perfect continues. You are muted. Eneida, you are muted. <laughs> and uh, I didn't go to my company uh, today, mm. didn't I? Past perfect continuous. Ah, past, past perfect continuous. Uh -huh. um, I hadn't been working today. Uh, had I? Nice. Switch it. Uh, <laughs> um, mm. Okay. Say by the bells. Salvados por la campana. Guys, it is 9 p.m. Um, you have homework for tomorrow. Okay. I want you to do the same by yourselves. Quiero que hagan lo mismo okay. ustedes solos, porque mañana en cuanto vengamos, ¡bam! les caigo con las preguntas. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Okay. So, I'm going to send this to okay. you, and don't worry, I do not expect you to be perfect on this. I just wanted to learn. So, if you had difficulties with an example, don't worry about it. Just make sure you practice. 
because like I said, tomorrow we're going to be practicing with this. Okay. So guys, thank okay. you very much for another day. Um, thank you very much. Remember Bye. to work with the platform. You have until Friday the 26th. Okay. Right? okay. Any questions? Send them to the group. Get out of here. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.